Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a closet clean out video. I'm going to be decluttering and organizing my old bedroom here at my parents' house. I have chest of drawers and nightstand and closet to clean out. So definitely make sure you stick around. If you like that kind of content, hit the like button. If you enjoy this video, make sure you are subscribed to my channel before you go. And let's go ahead and get started. So I wanted to give you guys an overview of what this closet looked like at my parents' house before I decided to start cleaning it out, decluttering, and making several different piles for what I was going to keep, what I was going to donate, and what needed to just be thrown away. And I am pretty sure that before this point, my mom had already gone through this room at least once or twice, maybe even more, just to kind of consolidate things. She probably did her own purge of stuff. I honestly hadn't really cleaned anything out in this room since I left for college and that was eight years ago. So this was way, way overdue. And so the first thing that I'm gonna do is take everything off of the hanging part of the closet just so I can get to everything else a lot easier. Some of this needed to go into a donation pile and some of it I was going to keep. I was actually really excited to make this video because I feel like so many of y'all can relate to this. Everybody at one point in time has had to clean out a closet before. Most of us at some point went off to college or left the home and maybe needed to go back and go through some things and kind of decide what was important to keep and what was okay to get rid of. So this definitely took a lot longer than it shows in the video. I sped it up for you guys, but it was really hard making some decisions. What should I hold on to? What do I think my kids would care about when I you know, became a mom and things like that? I just think that it is better to throw stuff away than to hold on to unnecessary things unless it is really sentimental. So this shelf here had a big hodgepodge of things on it. You can see that I had some dance shoes on here. If you guys didn't know, when I was in elementary school, middle school, and high school, I was a dancer. I took dance classes. I was on the dance team in high school. I stopped dancing when I got to college, so I never took any of these shoes with me but a lot of them I needed to throw away. There was random things in here, like this little address book. There was some old computer games. I, I feel like this dates me so much. There's like VHS tapes in here, Sims games. Honestly, oh, this is so crazy. But I feel like this was just a hodgepodge of stuff. A lot of it needed to be thrown away. Some stuff you just can't donate because they won't take certain items. Some stuff like these little photo clips they will take. So when in doubt, just check the website for wherever you are deciding to donate your things and just see whether or not they will take the items before you bring them over. So take me on a trip, 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 nah, trip, 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 oh, flick the switch, kill the lights. Some of the most fun things that I found in this decluttering journey were old photographs and journaling things. I feel like that kind of stuff is so worth keeping. Really good pictures and any type of written things. Like I really love letters and cards and things like that. I feel like they really hold their value and because they came from a specific person then you really can have more of a sentimental feeling about them. But I'm just putting everything that I was going to donate, which was mostly clothing, shoes, stuffed animals and stuff in the guest room here at my parents' house. I don't know as if when my mom said put it all in the guest room, she realized exactly how much stuff I was going to be getting rid of, including lots of really old toys that I had when I was a little kid. I feel like young children don't play with half this stuff anymore. They have new toys that they play with, but figured it was worth donating just in case. costume jewelry collection is really out of control and honestly I don't really wear that much costume jewelry anymore. Some of this stuff I had had since middle school 
really cannot believe I held on to it for so long. I really do want to keep all of the stuff that was passed down from me and stuff that is really good quality jewelry, but I did not feel like there was any need to hold on to stuff that was just really tarnished and old and cheap. And when I actually got back to my house, I did a purge of jewelry that I already had here at my home, and it felt so good because then I was able to kind of consolidate everything. I just hold on to stuff for so long and don't get rid of things handbags included. I had so many little bags, purses, and things like that, some of which I wanted to hold on to because they had sentimental value, but also some stuff that I was like, I have never used this and somebody else could definitely get some good use out of it. Wide awake is the way that you left me, sat beside in your car in the backseat, wide awake is the way that you left me. So this bag here had a ton of clothes for a Build-A-Bear that I had had when I was a kid and I feel like Build-A-Bear is something that one is not cheap so I definitely did not want to throw any of this stuff out but I'm going to hold on to it because I feel like stuffed animals and things like that really don't ever go out of style so that is something I'm going to hold on to for my future kids. They had um, like little shoes and purses and clothes and stuff like that for the stuffed animal so I did keep a few stuffed animals for the future, but really the rest of them just went right into the donation pile. had several boxes that were in the closet here with different memories from different phases of my life. I had several boxes that I had had with girlfriends of mine, so they had notes in them that we had passed in class and stuff. It was actually kind of funny going and reading some of that stuff. And then I had several boxes with just other different memories and things like that. It was kind of fun to go through it all, but honestly, it's not something that I ever really want to go back and look at. It's just something that I held on to. So it was kind of fun going through it, reading some of it for one last time, and then getting rid of it. There's just no need to hold on to that stuff. This tub here was mostly full of things from elementary school. It was a lot of projects and homework assignments. There were a few programs. Um, since I was a music major in college, I did a ton of performing growing up, so I had lots of playbills from different shows that I had either been in or shows that I had gone and seen. But the majority of this stuff was actually elementary school projects and things like that. And I actually found this little notebook in here where clearly my homemaker skills were at work and I had planned a sixth birthday party for my brother, which I think is so funny, but I loved going through all of this and seeing what I wrote down when I was in elementary school, my handwriting, different pictures that I drew. It was actually so much fun. all of these things I felt like the projects that I had done that were really well done and I put a lot of thought and effort into them I thought were really kind of cool so I wanted to hold on to those but there was a ton of repetitive stuff like the same four or five pictures that I had drawn over and over again I didn't want to hold on to those I really love the thing there with my handprints on it I think that is super cool I think that was when I was in kindergarten so that kind of stuff is worth holding on to but the number of papers that I had where I had just written my name on it or I had written I love my mom or dad all over it like 10 times. I didn't want to hold on to a bajillion of those so I just held on to a couple. 
So this kind of thing was very tedious going through and had to make some pretty tough decisions, but honestly, I can't hold on to this stuff forever. several smaller boxes in the closet that had a bunch of what I would just consider random junk in it. None of it was really worth keeping, maybe a few things, but this was clearly just stuff that was either shoved into a dresser drawer or something like that, and it was certainly not worth donating. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control. You push me, then you pull me back in. Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works. Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin. I will keep on trying to. You give me a sign. I really debated with this box whether or not to keep all of these CDs that are in here. I feel like because technology has just changed so much, it's like, what's the point of holding on to a CD? But I had kept some of my old cell phones, which is also really funny to look at. I don't know why I still had those, but it was very interesting to see the first couple of cell phones that I ever had. And I threw those out because I didn't need them anymore. But with the CDs, it's one of those things, since technology has changed so much, we don't really need CDs anymore or use them and I was debating on whether or not it was worth it to hold on to them for sentimental value but I decided to just go ahead and pass them off to somebody else especially donating them there's got to be people out there that don't have access to technology like I do and would really appreciate a CD to listen to talking to you here we go again staying up on night to see if you've been texting me where do we go from here I want to go all in so give me a sign could go for this no more tricks we could take things slow say you think about it too when the lights go out and there's no doubt that i should be with that i should be we've been on and off again and again i don't know which way we're going no control you push me then you pull me back in mm -mm -mm. we've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me, then you pull me back in So give me a sign Give me a sign Baby, just give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more Talking to you and here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in closet is almost cleaned out. We are getting down to the last few items and this is another one of those memory boxes from high school where we had put a bunch of random things in it. There were notes that we had passed, tickets to different things that we had gone to and stuff like that. I loved going through this but I feel like this is another one of those things. I will probably never look at this stuff again so I figured why hold on to it? The memories are still there. I did keep things like pictures and stuff like that but I could not keep all of these different notes
last thing that I needed to clean off was the top shelf. There were just a few things on there. Most of this was for the donate pile. Some of it went into trash. And a lot of this stuff up here was like scrapbooking type things. I had tried my hand at scrapbooking quite some time ago and just never really got into it. So some of it was definitely worth donating for people who really enjoy scrapbooking. A lot of stickers that I didn't use and different tools for scrapbooking. So that was really nice to pass on to somebody else. But I did hold on to the scrapbook that I had started to work on. I didn't quite finish it, but it was definitely some great memories in there. This is what the closet looks like, totally empty. I left the hangers there in case my mom needed to hang some other stuff up, but the top is all empty, the bottom is all empty, and I think those old shelves there from Ikea, I would imagine that she would probably not keep those since I kind of destroyed them over the years, but those she will probably get rid of, and then this closet is completely empty. I had also cleaned out the nightstand and the dresser as well, just to kind of make the room nice and tidy and then this pile here is all the stuff that I was bringing back to my house to find some kind of place to store them. I'm still kind of working on consolidating all this stuff here at the house and finding a place in storage to put it and this was quite a bit. I really kept a lot more than I thought I was going to but when you all see the donate pile you will know what I'm talking about. I hardly kept anything in the grand scheme of how much was really in the closet and threw a lot away but this is the donate pile lots and lots of stuff here mostly clothes and shoes and purses and things like that I just didn't want to hold on to any of those handbags it felt so good to pass this on to somebody else who really needs it Wood, you read me like an open book. You know me better than I ever thought and that's gonna be it for today's video thank y'all so much for watching please make sure you hit the like button before you go and if you are not already subscribed to my channel Make sure that you hit the subscribe button so you never miss a brand new video of mine. And I will see you guys again very soon with a new video. Bye, y'all.